Welcome back to me channel. I've seen all the white YouTubers calling their channel Chanel. Welcome back to my Chanel. I want to put a little season on it. Chanel. Welcome to my Chanel. My name is Key. We Kiki over here. So Kiki with Key. You know, pretty simple. Let's get into, you know, some hot topics, bitch, while I feel like it. <clears throat> Let's Kiki, y'all. How was your day? Y'all heard about that football player? I'm not really sure, like, all what happened, but the football player with the white wife, um, I guess the police had, like, put him down to the ground and had him restrained and all this wild shit. And now everybody is in an uproar, you know. I really want to see what pops up first. A few words regarding Lil Wayne from the account of Nicki Minaj. Denying a young black man what he rightfully put into this game for no reason but your ego. Your hatred for Birdman, Drake, and Nicki got you punishing Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne, the GOAT, Nola, what's good? Eminem stood firm on having 50 Cent come out. A white man, shit sad, house nigger teens. But it's good feed them. No loyalty. Well, them niggas will keep sunning you. Gag City, D.C. laughing my fucking ass out. Good dads feed them. Gag you a good dads feed them. Okay. Was well, good for the ganders, good for the juice type shit. Master P speaks on Kendrick Lamar's upcoming Super Bowl halftime performance. Says Lil Wayne should be a part of this celebration as well. What does Lil Wayne got to do with this? I don't get it. Lil Wayne's longtime engineer seemingly reacted to Kendrick Lamar's halftime news. Confused, disappointed, angry, but most of all, inspired. We'll never again be in a position or have the go in a position where we are at the mercy of someone else's decisions. We will make the decisions. I'm confused. What is going on with this Kendrick Lamar halftime shit? Nicki Minaj takes shots at Jay-Z. Nicki Minaj sends direct shots at Jay-Z after he snubbed Lil Wayne for the Super Bowl. Okay, hold on. I think it's come together. So, Jay-Z owns some of the Super Bowl, right? Of the NFL. So... He has the decision or makes part of the decision on who performs for the Super Bowl, right? And it makes a big deal because Jay-Z is in the industry as well. So, um, one nigga took a knee, the other nigga took a bag. Got everything in the world still spiteful and evil. He gonna get you niggers in line every fucking time. Nikki, you is doing too much. Oh my God. This is what Nikki Minaj is tweeting. Oh my God. Okay, so he, Jay-Z will let Kendrick Lamar perform at the Super Bowl, but won't let Lil Wayne perform. When did anybody ask for Lil Wayne to perform at the Super Bowl, though? 
But I'm just trying to make it make sense. Like, is this like a certain tribute? Because, you know, the Super Bowl performance sometimes has, like, how do I put it? Like an occasion. Like, you know how, like, themed. Like, it's usually themed. So, I'm not really, like, is this, like, like, hip-hop goat? Like, hip-hop legend? Super Bowl performance? Like, I'm trying to figure out. Why are we mad about Lil Wayne not performing for the Super Bowl? I didn't even know he was still performing. I mean, maybe Jay-Z didn't know that Lil Wayne was still performing. Like, was he in the talks already? Like, did he ask to be in the Super Bowl? And Jay-Z said, no, I want Kendrick. Or are we mad that he just didn't come up in the conversation? Like, I'm confused on who the fuck asked for Lil Wayne. I don't remember anybody saying Lil Wayne for the Super Bowl. Like, nobody, as far as I know, if y'all have seen this, please comment down below. I don't recall anybody asking for Lil Wayne to perform at the Super Bowl. That's just me. But if he wanted to and he was already in talks with Jay-Z about this, then okay, that's different. But I just, you know, let me know if I'm wrong. Matthew Knowles suggests race played a role in Beyonce's lack of CMA award nominations. So I guess um, the Country Music Awards was recent and um you know Beyonce's on this cowboy carter way but I just feel like she's only been doing country music for six months she just got off the LGBTQ disco wave and now she jumped on to the country wave and I just feel like that's not your whole persona you're not a country singer you just so happen to have a country album and step into that genre so no I don't feel like Beyonce should have got a CMA award nomination that's what it says award nomination so she was not even nominated and that is because Beyonce is not a country singer. She made a country album, but that does not mean she is a country singer. There's been a lot of real black country singers who have came out in the past four years who have gotten their shine on the BET Awards. And now it's time for them to get their shine at the Country Music Awards. Beyonce had got her shine. Now, these, these new black country artists are country artists. That's all they sing, live, eat, breathe. That's their culture. It's country music. And those are the artists who should be nominated. At this point, Beyonce is just very entitled. She does not read the room. She feels like, I mean, does she feel like last year she should have gotten an award at, at the Pride Awards. I mean, give it a fucking break, Beyonce. Just because you tap into a certain genre does not mean you get a trophy for it. You don't get a trophy for everything you do, sweetheart. And Beyonce has to realize that. And that privilege is like, I think it's getting to her. And that's why she had that mental breakdown that Jay-Z was talking about when she was just blasting Kim Burrell for like 48 hours. Yeah, you need to skip aside yourself sometimes, Beyonce. You don't have to win everything, baby girl. And you need to teach your daughter that too. I feel like Beyonce's kids is gonna be like Mariah Carey's kids. If you ever see Mariah Carey's kids, she does not want her kids to outshine her, overpower her, 
none of that shit. She does not want her kids to be TikTok famous. She does not want those kids to be singers or nothing like that. Bitch, wait until I'm dead and gone and then you can start doing all that bullshit. And hopefully, I live until I'm 100. That's how Beyonce and Mariah Carey do. J-Lo too. Hurricane Chris and Slim Jimmy exchanged a few words after Hurricane Chris posted this clip regarding the Super Bowl in New Orleans statement but i guess you know because i ain't my brother what well, i'm you speak to him. these are both washed up rappers who do not rap no more slim jimmy was a part of um the black beatles what's them uh ray shrimmer he was a part of ray shrimmer and Hurricane Chris hasn't made a hit since A Bay Bay, so I don't know what the fuck. I mean, irrelevant. Oh, look. Yo, chat. Yo, man, fly, chat. Yo, check it, chat. W, W outfit. W out. Yo, chat. Yo, W's in the chat. If this outfit is nice. If not, you know what I'm saying? Don't even say nothing, chat. Yo, chat. How I look, chat? That's how the guys to that be. T Pain nailed it. Instead of talking shit about the young kids and on TikTok and Twitch, he did it. He did it perfectly. Went on TikTok and made fun of they dumbass. This how you look, Kai Sinat. How's this look, chat? I look like Kai. W Mans. W Mans. Yo, yo, chat. Yo, chat. Yo, how I look, chat? How I look? Yo, chat. Yo, man, fly, chat. Yo, check it, chat. W W outfit. W out. Yo, chat. Yo, W's in the chat. If this outfit is nice. If not, you know what I'm saying? Don't even say nothing, chat. Yo, chat. How I look, chat? How does this look, chat? I look like Kai. W means. Bro, he's yo, snapped. Yo, chat. How does this look, chat? That's exactly how them kids be sounding. And yes, I am young, but these young kids, like these internet influencers and this chat shit, ugh. <sighs> he just be chatting. W men's <laughs> W fit W chat Shut the fuck up Uh oh FDA issues every call after at least 65 people fall ill in these states Bitch I'm not clicking no fucking link in the bio FDA has issued a recall at least 65 people across several states have fallen ill. On Friday, September 6, the administration published a notice via its official website explaining that Milo's Poultry Farms, a farm in Wisconsin, issued a recall on Ed Pro That don't got nothing to do with us. That's for all them southern hillbilly states um, who live off of farms and agriculture. Just so y'all know. So Milo Farms, they don't even sound like shit I touch. So yeah. RIP to James Earl Jones. Oh my gosh, you guys. 94 years old. What a legend. He was, um, he played Darth Vader on Star Wars and all that other shit before my time. My mom knows of him, and I just know the motherfucker off Star Wars. So, R.I.P. A legend was lost. He lived 94 long years. I think he was born in like 1930 something. So yeah, he lived a long, great, successful life. R.I.P. James Earl Jones. Okay. Yes. Remembering James Earl Jones, biggest hit movies. Coming to America, teaching me some shit. Voice of Mufasa on Lion King. Voice of Dark Vader, 
Darth Vader, whatever, on Star Wars. Welcome home, Roscoe Jenkins. He played the old grandpa. So he was very mo, mo and Sandlot. So he was very diverse in his roles, okay? He was on white movies and black movies. Wow. Okay. Old clip of Lil Wayne resurfaces online of him discussing his desire to perform at the Super Bowl halftime show. Let's listen. Good. <laughs> I'm, I gotta ask. You gotta, I'm just it's a question, Wayne. I know I don't know the answer, but I gotta ask you. Is in New Orleans, um, I think it's in 2025 or something like that. He's I'm doing not, it. I'm not sure. Not, I'm not, Wayne, not sure. come on, man. Say I'm it, Wayne. Sure you got to say no, it, no, Wayne. I don't. They, no, I, I, can, I would not lie to you. I, am not, I have not got a call. Hey, Jimmy, <laughs> what you do to some boy? <laughs> Good. I, I got to ask. You gotta, I'm just asking. It's a question, Wayne. I, know, I don't know the answer, but I got to ask you. Of course, the Super Bowl is in New Orleans. Um... I think it's in 2025 or something like that. He's doing it. I'm not sure. Not, I'm not, I'm not sure. Man, come on, man. Say it, man. He look good. He look young. But we all praying. You know, we praying. We keeping our fingers crossed. I'm working hard. I'm going to make sure this next album and everything I do is killer. So I'm going to make it very hard for them. To, I want to just make it hard for them not to, not to pick highlight the boy. Hey, Jay, but I'm on. I'm kind of old, Jay. But we all oh, praying. he's so you know, humble. We're fingers crossed. I'm working hard. I'm going to make sure this next album and everything I do is killer. So I'm going to make it very hard for them. To, I want to just make it hard for them not to, not to pick highlight the boy. Hey, Jay, <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God. He is so adorable. And he's so humble, man. He is so fucking humble. You guys saw how he was like, look. Call it. Oh, I'm He's like, I gotta call it. He's like, I gotta call it. You know, we praying, we keeping our fingers crossed. I'm working oh. hard. I'm gonna make sure this next app. I'm gonna cry. My period's on, so I'm like emotional right now. Listen, I'm not hating on. Kendrick Lamar hosting the Super Bowl halftime show. He's definitely a big enough artist with enough hits to deserve it. But nobody should be headlining the Super Bowl halftime show in New Orleans over Lil Wayne. No fucking body. So, I get it now. The Super Bowl is going to be in New Orleans. Lil Wayne is from New Orleans. He's the GOAT of rap. That's where he's from. That's where the Super Bowl is going to be. It's like a no-brainer. Wow. The way the internet is in an uproar and gets everyone crying validates why Kendrick Lamar is the right person. What? Look who the fuck said it. Somebody who don't even live in fucking America. You know, as motherfuckers like this who don't even fucking live here, who have access to our VPN over in the United States, I wish when the internet was like the wild, wild west. Motherfuckers in India could not surf United States internet. I hate we got access to TikTok. Just because we got access to TikTok does not mean we got to have motherfuckers in Zimbabwe commenting on Lil Wayne and Kendrick Lamar. Bitch, you just got here in 2020. You don't even know what the fuck is going on over this way, motherfucker. Are you kidding me right now? Look at his fucking picture. Who the fuck are you to comment on a goddamn thing? Who the fuck are you to come around and shit? And look at this bitch. Her ancestors are not even from here. Bitch look like she from Poland. Look at this all. Motherfuckers who are not even American commenting on American music. Okay, I'm over that.
Jojo Siwa. Ever since her, ever since her and that fine ass stud Avery, ever since they broke up, she has been in shambles. So New York Fashion Week is, is on the rise, you all. Be on the lookout for goofy shit. If you see some goofy shit on your timeline this month, it's because it's New York Fashion Week. If bitches are being bougie and if you get a call from your influencer, your wannabe influencer friend, um, that she needs a place to stay, it's because New York Fashion Week, bitch. So, NLE Chopper never said he was gay. But he meant, he, okay. He put out a post saying, I'm coming out. And then this, you know, kind of flamboyant picture. And then he said, with a new song, a new project this month, and black duck boots. Y'all ain't let me finish. Light skin behavior, you guys. So we're just gonna keep fucking scrolling. Oh, look at Lauren London and um Nipsey Hussle's son. He's 15 today, a Virgo. Was it Nipsey Hussle, Virgo? Oh, that's her and Lil Wayne. Damn, she got a lineup with nice baby daddies. God damn. I'm sorry, this Lil Wayne son in Lauren London. I'm sorry. My bad. So she attracts Virgos. Lauren London is a Sag. Damn. Look at Ludacris's daughter. Uh-huh. Why'd she look cross-eyed? Oh, baby. She looked like she about to get shaken baby syndrome. She was jumping up on and up and down her eyes look like they couldn't keep up. He's not gay. He's not gay. NLE Chopper got this bitch. My baby daddy. My baby daddy. That's not her baby daddy. I don't know, girl. I don't give a fuck. Birdman says something. These niggas pussy. Why in CMB? I make these niggas respect us on Gladys. Y'all, I cannot hate and shit for real. Oh, Tiffany Haddish is with Paris Hilton at Fashion Week. She's on Coke. That's why she had the audacity to do this. Look, puppet for white people. She's being the puppet. She's being their entertainment.
Hilton's mom is so fucking messy. Look at Paris. She's living for this shit. <laughs> They're just laughing at her. Paris looks to die for, my God. Skinny blonde. Look at their mom, messy bitch. Right now. Right now. She said, yes, now. There's nothing going on. Tiffany, how does she let these fucking white people talk you in again into embarrassing your motherfucking self? Lord have mercy. <laughs> Just like, <laughs> show us a trick. Gee, shit. That's what it gave. It's giving, show us a trick. Let's make the black girl do something funny. It's giving, entertain us. Re we're bored. Just like I just got done saying. And they'll be invited back and she won't. Exactly. Tap dancing, and it's sad. They set her up. Dance for us, dance. Why didn't they get up and do it? Here she goes again, embarrassing herself. Ah. <sighs> Why didn't Paris Hilton do it? Wow. about Tyrese Tyrese arrested Lord have mercy they set his ass up the shade room shit. they knew where he was the baby mama knew he had an interview with the shade room and had him arrested for unpaid child support he must pay $73,000 to be released. Y'all, my breath is taken. Oh, oh, oh my God. Oh my God. This is too much. This is too much. Lord, forgive me. At 9 a.m., this is what Tyree said. At 9 a.m. in the morning in Atlanta, I might be arrested in court. Oh, he got arrested in court. Tyrese has been taken into custody for unpaid child support and must come up with $73,000 in order to be released. Included in the $73,000 is $7,500 for the mother of his child's attorney's fees. The singer predicted this would happen. On Sunday, he took to social media to vent about his legal battle, stating he felt he might be arrested. His lawyer told him. His lawyer saw that there was a warrant for his arrest. And let him know. 
You cannot make this shit up. Oh, I don't know who this couple is. Jalen Brown and Kaiser. This was their best outfit for New York Fashion Week. Titties out. You hoes have got to do better. Oh, shit. Now, who the fuck said I'm trans? I'm sorry, Scarlett, but you make yourself look stupid. Who said that? Thank you. Who said that? It's screaming, pick me. Attention. I don't know how in the fuck y'all go live. Like, if, if I need to go piss, I'm finna go piss. If I need to go take a shit, I'm finna pause this shit and go take a shit. Edit it later. Mush that shit together. Okay? Yeah. Like, I give y'all props. The motherfuckers who um who live stream and like that's all you do is live stream yeah props to you because i be needing to like <laughs> oh my god selena goldman shares that she isn't able to carry her own children due to medical issues that was something i had to grieve for a while and justin bieber and his bitch is pregnant or just had their baby, whatever. So I know Selena Gomez is feeling it right now. I know she's feeling it. Boosie say, are y'all acting like y'all cool with how they playing it for the Super Bowl? Shaking my head. The most cultural city in the USA. New Orleans, it's a smack in the face to every hip-hop legend from Louisiana. Master P. Miller, Birdman. This shows they never wanted y'all to kick in the door in the first place because they still trying to lock it. Super Bowl 22 was in Cali, and Cali artists was allowed to do their thing, and it was a great show. But now it's in Louisiana, and Louisiana legends can't do their thing. I don't respect it. Okay, that's from Boosie Badass. That's what he had to say about the Super Bowl. Yeah. Kim Ryan alleges that Lil Wayne is not performing at the 2025 Super Bowl due to past issues with someone in the organization. Not really a secret. Lil Wayne had a problem with somebody before who's kind of part of the organization running it. This is payback. Who's that? Who's Little Wayne artist? Drake. Yeah, that not, is, this is this. Is, you mean Birdman? Crazy, it's crazy yeah. bro. It, Drake is Little Wayne's it, artist. Oh, like, like, there's no reason why Little Wayne should not be performing the Super Bowl. There's one person who's stopping this. I know, you know, it's not really, it's not really a secret. Little Wayne had a problem with somebody before who's kind of part of the organization running it. <laughs> Little Wayne no, not to be performing in New Orleans for the Super I Bowl is egregious. And it got egregious. I, it, it gotta I love like, New York niggas. What's going on later? It got to stop. It's bro. egregious. It got to stop. <laughs> yeah, and I'm doubling down no, on that. Crazy. Hating at this age is crazy. Yeah, it's wild. Way. It's wild, bro. Man. I work and, for and, the way. I love him. Great dude. Great dude. And no, great and this has dude. Nothing to great dude. Great, great dude. dude. Stand up guy. Yeah. But there's some right, backstory right. going on. Yeah. Little Wayne, yeah, not the people. Child. Little Wayne yeah, not to be performing in New Orleans for the Super Bowl is egregious. It's and it egregious. Gotta stop. And it gotta stop. <laughs> From Cameron, bitch.
Lil Wayne not performing at the halftime show is a creatures. And they gotta stop. <laughs> Beer, I need to start watching them. I like Cam Ron. And he fine. He fine as fuck. His old ass talk about some. That's Drake's artist. Lil Wayne is not Drake's artist. That's Birdman's artist. Drake is Lil Wayne's artist. Cha. That goes without saying thank you, Beyonce, for opening a door for us, starting a conversation, and giving us one of the most innovative country albums of all time. She didn't open a door for y'all, Shabuzi. You opened the door for your goddamn self. Stop putting this hoe on a pedestal. This hoe ain't did shit for um country music. Please excuse me. She ain't did shit for country music. Social media reacts after she didn't receive the nomination for the CMA Awards. I bet they don't give a fuck now. After that Super Bowl shit, her husband done pulled. And down to what he going through, what he all that money he got. I don't care if it was temps or not, and it picks it on your grill. It had to stick them down in my mouth. It wasn't no better way I would have left a dentist. And you got to do some work on my mouth in a week or two, and you ain't stuck that down in my mouth. I talk too much. He should have known better than be online doing that. That was it. Then he gonna get on there the next day and, and take him out and put him back in your life. Jesus. Somebody wanna see that. Boy, you looking like my 90-some-year-old granddaddy. Jesus. What the hell was that? So what the fuck was that? that? Teeth, this, that, and all that. But these ain't. These <laughs> porcelains, baby. Not composites. Not Don't composites. They ain't dentures. Dentures. Y'all be talking about these teeth, but you know how I many people be inquiring about what these teeth got done at because they want Inquiring about. Just sick of that little yellow. Tata, tata. Mm. Yellow tata. He's he walking around with, and the side tooth is missing. Your, 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 your head, ain't, your head ain't gonna stop because you, you. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, stupid as fuck. You ain't gotta worry about my teeth falling out like Dame Dash on. <laughs> Dame Dash on. <laughs> <laughs> Oh fucking god, I'm fucking dead, y'all. Oh my god. This was a good episode, y'all. I'm really happy about this episode. This is a good episode. Oh, Trippy Red and Corey the Ray back, Buddha. Bitch, put out some music, ho. You skimpy bitch. Put out some music. Always oh, chasing dick. Wasn't she just with that stud looking bitch? You always with some dick. Put out some music, bitch. Alright, child. Love y'all. Let me know how you thought about um this video. I thought it was the shit. So fuck with me.